Okay, so I've seen this topic on YouTube before and I thought I'd answer it because, hey, a lot of people want to know how to code and I know how to code. Yeah. So if I could start over again, how would I learn to code? Now, what we're not going to do is we're not going to talk about how I actually learned to code back in the day because that path is all over the place. But let's do it. How do you learn to code? So before we answer the question of how do you learn to code, a good question to ask is why should you learn to code? And here I have three main points. The first point is probably the most obvious point. It's a digital world. This modern world that we live in, everyone's reliant on computers or their smartphones, etc. And because of that, and because the tech space is expanding, the need to code becomes more and more important. So coding is everywhere. It keeps things interesting and definitely is a skill that's needed because, well, tech advancement is just so great. The second point is probably the reason why most people learn to code, and that is because coding can increase your market value. From the first point, we know that coding skills are in demand because of the current landscape. And because of that, having something like coding on your resume immediately increases your market value. And the third point is probably the reason why people keep coding. And that's because a coding landscape continuously changes. There's new advancements all the time and that keeps coding fun and interesting. So it's a great thing to learn. Okay, so we know why we should learn to code, but now let's talk about how exactly you start learning to code. And one of the first things you realize is that you need to choose a programming language. Now for programming languages, there's no such thing as one language fits all, unfortunately. So when you want to choose a language, ask yourself, what do you want to do? So. If you like data analysis, then maybe Python might be a good option for you. But if you want to learn a bit more on game development, then maybe C++ is good. Similar, if you want to do web development and create websites, JavaScript with some HTML and CSS would work. If you are struggling to find a programming language that fits your needs, then I would suggest going with Python. Python is quite easy to learn. There's lots of online content on Python and it's quite a diverse language to start off with. So with Python, you can do things like data analysis, machine learning, you can even build web applications using Django and Python. So if you're unsure of a language, I would suggest Python. It's never a mistake knowing how to work with Python. Another popular language you can choose is JavaScript. JavaScript is great, especially if you want to learn web development. It's a very popular language. Okay, so now that you know what language you've chosen, what is your next step? And I would suggest from here is to do a fundamentals course in that specific programming language. So if you check out websites like YouTube, Free Code Camp, Udemy, there are lots of content available that's free or quite affordable. So if you're learning Python on Udemy, maybe you wanna check out my course or any others, there's a lot available. Now, why I'm suggesting you do a formal course is that often when you're starting out, there are a few basics that you should know. For example, for Python, you need to know what software you need to install, what is your IDE, etc. And beginner courses are great at that because they'll take you through what exactly you need step by step to get you up and running. The other good thing about doing formal courses like that is that it teaches you best practices from the get go. Now, usually sometimes when you self learn, maybe you pick up some bad habits and those habits are hard to change later down the line. So with courses, it's always nice. You get to learn the basics, you get to learn it properly as well. And then it will just give you some confidence to continue on some more intermediate or harder things. Now, the other thing you can do when you're learning to code is start a project. This is probably the most popular recommendation when people ask the question, how do I start coding? And that's because it's how coders learn. They learn by practice and you can only practice by doing projects. And when you pick a project, make sure you pick something that interests you. So if you do want to learn Python, maybe doing a data analytics dashboard on your favorite sports team would be interesting. Or if you want to learn game development, creating the game Snake on C++ would be cool. Or if you want to learn JavaScript, maybe creating your resume and hosting it on a website would be a good project. And here's a tip. If you're learning Python or R, you should check out Kaggle.com. Kaggle.com is a website that hosts competitions sponsored by many businesses across the world. And these competitions often have realistic data sets. They have the problem description and they ask you what's needed to be solved. So if you head onto Kaggle and go to the competition section, you'll be able to see all of this. Now, the really cool part is that when the competition is complete, people who've entered the competition will discuss their code and what they've used to submit as a competition answers. 
This is great for someone learning out because you can actually review other people's code and you get access to the data set as well as the problem description. So check out Kaggle.com. So the reason to do projects is that it keeps you motivated. It sets benchmarks on your projects and seeing you complete a project from start to finish actually feels good. The other good point to note is that coding projects are actually great on your resume. I mean, sure, you can slap in Python as a skill on your CV or your resume, but actually showing the projects that you've completed have so much more impact. And lastly, this point here definitely gets overlooked, but it's quite important, and that's find a community. When you're learning to code, it's generally great to join a community because as you progress, you might encounter problems, you may not know what the next steps are, or sometimes you just want some motivation, and finding a community is great for that. Communities generally have people that are in the same situation as you and people more experienced than you willing to give you help. So look for local groups on social media, join meetup events, join Slack or Discord channels. Reddit also has great subreddits to learn programming, etc. And start networking like that. The benefits here are that you'll meet people with the same interests as you. You'll also see what other people are doing in the space. And you'll also get help if you ask questions. So it's definitely a win-win. So those are my tips on how I would start coding if I had to do it all over again. Now remember, everyone's journey is different. These are just suggestions. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know if there are any suggestions in the comments. Also, if you could like and subscribe, that would be great as well. Thanks.